I took a knee to the face like my second game here is bleeding everywhere. There is nothing soft about the game of rugby, no matter what your sexual orientation is. So there was a fair deal of skepticism when a few friends got together and started the San Francisco Fog, the first gay inclusive rugby team on the West Coast. The premise of the San Francisco Fog is to give guy, you know, guys and, and women the opportunity to play rugby, um, regardless of their sexual orientation, their gender, you know, their color. At our first practice, we had um, about 10 to 10 guys, I think, come out. A lot of our, our um, initial players had never played sports before, let alone rugby. You know, honestly, I got a little tired of the, all the sort of macho-ness of the clubs I'd been with before, where they just basically, you spend all this time, like, proving that you're not gay by just talking about all this stuff, and, you know, and, and it was a refreshing thing to be with the Fog and just, like, really be yourself. Up! Up! The rest of the rugby community wasn't so welcoming. There were some teams that, you know, actually had said that they didn't want to play us. There was times when a player would get bloodied and someone will say something outrageous like, oh, AIDS. There were other teams that, you know, gave us flack, called us names, you know, like faggot and stuff. But as a rugby team, you know that you have a family that's strong, that stand behind you. Part of that family was a young man from Arizona named Mark Bingham, a former rugby player at the University of California. When he saw that we were gonna, you know, actually make a real go of it, he got really involved. He was one of the few people who actually had played, you know, before when we got to our first game. He knew what it took to be competitive, uh, and so he was able to instill a little bit of that attitude into our team. On the morning of September 11th, 2001, Mark was one of the 33 passengers on Flight 93, which heroically sacrificed their lives to prevent another terrorist attack. We were sitting in front of the TV. Um, we started thinking about all of our friends in New York, and then we, you know, Mark popped up into our head. Over the course of, of really a very short time, maybe just a couple hours, we learned that Mark was, was on the flight. And definitely a punch in the gut. Um, unbelievable. It was shock. Um, all the emotions that you would expect when you um, learn what happened. You know, we all knew in our hearts that Mark was involved somehow in what happened on Flight 93. We just know him too well. Um, we know the kind of person he is. Um, he would not go down without a fight. That summer, the Fog honored Mark by holding an international rugby tournament in San Francisco. It was called the Bingham Cup. And our goal was to um, have an opportunity to get all the teams together, to have a good time, to play competitive rugby, and to honor Mark. We had 2,000 spectators for an amateur rugby tournament, which is pretty amazing. We were an official event of Pride that year, and you know everybody just rallied around, and it was an amazing, amazing tournament. Now, the Bingham Cup is a global event, recognized not only as a premier rugby tournament, but also as a driving force in the promotion of non-discrimination in sports. I organized the very first one in 2002, and it was six teams. Now we have 60 clubs globally um, that are gay identified. I was lucky enough to play in Manchester uh, two years ago, and um, that tournament, I know, changed my life. Gay, straight, doesn't matter. It, it is is an incredible experience. You get emails where rugby saved people's lives, you know, they, um, they, you know, grew up in an age when there weren't LGBT alliances in high school, when they got beat up in high school. I still wasn't totally comfortable with my sexuality, um, still in the closet to most of my friends, and coming out and being around a group of athletes that are uh, ambivalent to sexual orientation, they helped me find comfortability with myself. Our goal is to play rugby, it's not to change the world, but we're in a unique opportunity to be able to influence people's perceptions about gay athletes. We still have a long ways to go, um, but I think that the perceptions have changed over the last 14 years. And I think it's because, uh, in a large part, of the exposure that Mark brought to our sport, you know, by ultimately becoming a hero um, through his actions on Flight 93.